DriveWorks Express is a free entry-level design automation tool installed with every license of SolidWorks. If your designs are the same but different, you can use DriveWorks Express to automatically create unique, customised designs time and time again. There are three easy steps to get up and running with DriveWorks Express. Step 1. Capture the features and dimensions that need to be automated. Step 2. Create an input form to gather any required information. And step 3. Add some design automation rules. Let's take a look at step 2 in more detail. Building an input form in DriveWorks Express is easy. You can prompt for text or numbers, choose an option from a list, or ask true or false questions. The name for each control must be unique. This name is displayed on the user interface and used when building design rules, so make sure the name you use is clear and concise. At any time, you can test your form to see how it will look. The warning triangle indicates that this is a required field. Each control has basic error checking. Once a valid value has been entered, the warning triangle will disappear. A numeric text box looks identical to a normal text box, but will only accept numbers. It also has the added benefit of being able to specify a minimum and maximum value to keep it within an acceptable range. If you test the form again, you will see that when you hover your mouse over the control, the tooltip displays the minimum and maximum values and the built-in error checking will not accept any value outside that range. A spin button works very similar to a numeric text box with the added benefit of being able to specify an increment. You can use this control, for example, to keep the dimension sizes in your design to certain increments or round numbers. Testing the form once again, you can see that the spin button gives you convenient up and down buttons to cycle through all the possible values quickly. A checkbox provides a simple way to ask a true or false question. If your design is modular and you want to ask if an option should be included or not, then this is the control to use. When you test the form, the choice is a simple yes or no. And finally, the drop down list. This presents you with a list of choices that you must select from and should be used when there is more than one possible option and there are no permitted variations. A common use of drop-down list is to choose an existing configuration with a part. In this motor, there are a number of options to choose from. All you need to do is write the configuration names you want to use into the drop-down list. You will add a design rule later to switch the configurations based on the chosen value. Finally, you can organise your form easily using the reorder buttons before running one last test to see the finished result. You can also set default values that are presented every time the form is run. You can do this easily by entering the values you want and pressing the Set Defaults button. Step 2 is now complete. Please watch the next video in this series to learn how to add design rules. Remember, this setup only needs to be done once. Then, you can use DriveWorks Express to automatically create unique, customised designs time and time again.